<laughs> I couldn't see it off camera. It's a secret. You'll never know what it is. What did I do? Who knows? James knows, but you'll never know. Oh, it's me again. I'm Jay with Q. This is What's Q. Nice. Well, Q's the Honey Badger SD. It's kind of the OG. It's Kevin's fourth child. It's kind of where it all started. There's so much to say about it. We can start with the front. This is kind of the, the talking point of the SD all the time. We have the Honey Badger silencer on this. It's a little smaller in diameter than our normal titanium cans. It's an inch and a half. That helps it fit under the handguard. Uh, it is not integrally suppressed. You can take the, the silencer on and off. A lot of people think that it is integrally suppressed. They are wrong. They're misinformed and they're wrong. The Honey Badger silencer sits under a 12 inch handguard, but it sits on a seven inch, one in five twist, 300 blackout barrel. Uh, we have an adjustable gas block. If you're not getting guns with adjustable gas blocks in 2024, you're crazy, you're getting robbed. So back to the barrel, one in five twist. Well, we've been doing it for years. Kevin was doing it at AIC, we're doing it now. It helps stabilize those long subsonic bullets. So if you wanna shoot super and subsonic, with that short barrel, it'll help stabilize the rounds. It also gives it more rotational energy on target. So you have that linear energy moving forward and backward, and then it's also spinning really fast. So it's kinda like a blender blade going through something. 300 blackout, one in five's the way. Receiver sets, so we do, Machined billet aluminum. It's 7075. When we clear anodize it, it turns this gold color, champagne color. It's kind of what the Honey Badger is known for. It's not, we didn't intend for it to look that way. It's just how it works. We knew guys were going to paint it anyway, but that's what you get. If you look at the receiver sets, they're not exactly the same as your standard AR. Uh, there's a lot of proprietary stuff inside. The way that we machine this, we've got like a little, uh, little baby brass deflector on there. Super effective, but it's lightweight. The sides of the receiver actually hold the stock arms so they don't snag on all your gear. That leads me to the stock. Oh, it's super fast. It's gray, it looks good. It's effective, it's all you need. It's light, it's compact. In order to get so small, we have a proprietary buffer system in there. It doesn't pivot open like your standard AR because it's not your standard AR. Uh, it can be kind of a pain to, to take apart, but it's necessary. It's reliable, it's the way to do it. On this stock, we have a built-in QD attachment point. If you wanna use your QD sling mounts or whatever, and you're still living in 1991, do that. Uh, we use G-slings, we use sling devils, paracord, literally anything but the QD attachment point. We have 70 degree ambidextrous radian selector lever. We also have a radian raptor charging handle. It's a little different, it's a little more narrow. Uh, it doesn't get caught on stuff, kind of anti-snag. It's got a big Q on it, it's clear anode. They did it for us. We like them, they like us. We have literally the best trigger ever made. How can you have a honey badger without literally the best trigger ever made? You can't. Some have Geisleys, some have whatever. That's whatever. We have literally the best trigger ever made. Get that. <laughs> no dust cover, Ooh, you don't need it. Shut up, you don't need it. Inside there that you can see, that's our two-piece bolt carrier. We did them in-house. There were things that we didn't like about other bolt carriers or things that we couldn't get from other bolt carriers. So we said, eh, we'll make our own. Uh, it's our two-piece bolt carrier. It's adjustable, it's two pieces. It's kind of magic, it's pretty cool. We've got other videos on that, check those out. We got a flared Magwell, 94 Madonna, Dennis Rodman. I don't need to tell you that whole story. The command, the Honey Better SD. It's bigger, it looks bigger than the, the SBR or the, you know, the standard, the little Honey Badger that you're used to seeing, but it's not. It, it weighs four and a half pounds. This thing, the capabilities you have with Super and Subsonic 300 Blackout and this tiny little package that weighs less than your grandma's dumbbells that she's doing curls with, it's crazy. How could you not want one of these? It's lightweight, it's compact, it's effective, it's reliable. It's good looking, it's the Honey Badger. SD, it's Q. Nice.